This is a podcast style step-by-step instruction set for building your first guitar. You can pause when needed. Let's get started. Step one, choose the style of guitar you'd like to create. Some common styles are Fender Stratocaster or Gibson's SG models. To do so, buy a guitar kit online. They normally run for about $150 and from here you can buy your desired model. Doing this will save tons of time and will eliminate the need for more complex tools. It will also give you all the electronics you will need. A good website to buy from is solomusicgear.com. This has all the soldering done for you and will make it nice and easy for a good price. Step 2. Attach the neck to the body of the guitar. To do this, slide the neck into the slot right at the top of the body, then flip the guitar and neck over. Next, put on the neck plate on the back of the body. This is located right where you attach the neck, but on the back. Pick up the neck plate and place it on the back. There are four screws at each corner of this rectangular plate. Drill four Phillips head screws into the four holes and the neck will be firmly attached to the body of the guitar. Step three, screw on the input jack. Since the body of the guitar has all the soldering done for you, all you have to do is screw the input jack on the body of the guitar. This is where you will plug your cable that will run from the guitar to the amplifier. Step four, flip the guitar over and pick up your bridge and three springs included with the kit. From here, insert the bridge in the cavity inside the body of the guitar on the back. You will notice that the bridge is loose in place. This is where the three springs come into play. Hook the three springs on the designated hooks on the bridge, then attach the other side of the spring to the end of the cavity inside the guitar. Lastly, screw on the back faceplate to cover the cavity with the six screws included. Step five, grab the six tuners that are included with the kit. With these six tuners come six small bolts that will keep the tuners in place. Put each tuner into the head of the guitar from the bottom with the knob facing out. Then screw the bolt on from the top of the tuner to keep it in place. Step six, this is the final step. Time to put on your strings. The order of the strings on a guitar are E, A, D, G, B, E. They're normally labeled in your kit. Turn the guitar over and thread the first thickest string, the E string, into the first hole that lines up with the first tuner. This hole is located on the face plate you screwed on in step four. Once you do this, you will notice the string pop out of the bridge on the other side, which is the front of the guitar. Pull the string out as far as it will let you and line the string up to the neck. From here, thread the string through the first tuner and pull as far as the string will let you and curve the excess string up. Now turn the tuner until you get the desired pitch from the string Continue this exact step for the rest of the five strings and you have yourself a guitar. Plug into that amplifier and get to jamming.